Hey folks, it's January 4th. It's early in the morning. We're in the Fort Lauderdale Airport. We got the first direct flight to Tallahassee on JetBlue. I'm John Daly. I'm the proud mayor of the great city of Tallahassee, and this is going to be a great day. We are really excited. We're expanding our air service from Tallahassee to other great communities, and this is going to be wonderful. Today, we celebrate another exciting moment in our journey, our first flight to Tallahassee. Let me just say one thing about them. They are amazing community partners, and that is so important for businesses to be involved with our community, and they are always involved, and you can always count on them to participate when something is needed. So I just want to thank you all for that. Today we're here to celebrate JetBlue, and today we're here to celebrate this direct flight. We are thrilled to have you as part of the family, and we welcome you to Tallahassee. It was mentioned earlier, and I will close with this. Folks, it is the city of Tallahassee's bicentennial. We are going to be celebrating our 200th birthday all year long. It is a great time to come to Tallahassee, and now you don't have any excuses. $49 one way on JetBlue Direct. Come join us. Come celebrate. We'll see you soon up in Tallahassee. On behalf of the city of Tallahassee, I want to thank each of you for being here today. This is a very exciting day for the Tallahassee International Airport and for our community. JetBlue's inaugural flight landed only moments ago. And on board that flight was our mayor, John Daly. I'd like to turn it over to you for your remarks. I appreciate it. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Daly. I am your proud mayor of the capital city here in Tallahassee. Uh, before I get too far into it, we actually have a special treat. Congressman Dunn was just flying into town. Want to give you an opportunity to come say a couple of words, Congressman, real quick. Great to have you here. So this, this is a happy occasion, you know, uh, and I want to say to, to the representative of uh, Robert Laird, who's from uh, JetBlue, that, uh, that uh, Florida really is the best state. Yeah, it Everywhere is. I go, I get, I get Florida envy. I was in Texas this morning. Even there, they have Florida envy. So, uh, you know, I want you to know that you're very, very welcome uh, here in Tallahassee. And I think <laughs> that you've struck gold. Tallahassee is a great city. You know, Florida's the fastest growing state in the country. So the capital is experiencing explosive growth, as is befitting. And, uh, and it's a terrific city with a terrific workforce. And uh, there's a lot of good institutions here that will grow that workforce as you grow, and your presence here. And uh, you have a very well-run city, a very well-run airport. Yeah. You have everything you need to thrive. We're, we're really, really pleased that you're here. Uh, could not be happier with, with all that. I do want to say thank you to a couple of people who made this possible. Let me start with Dave Pollard. Who's Dave? We're here, great. Dave is the general manager of the airport, and his uh, chief assistant is Jim Derwin. Also, can't do he can't do anything with that. And the airport board. Let's say you have a great airport board. I would be remiss if I did not say thank you though to Mayor Daly. Uh, he has been laser focused on this airport as an economic opportunity for the entire region, and he is absolutely correct. Thank you very much, thank John. You've you just done a great job here. Uh, and uh, finally, to JetBlue, welcome home. We want to make your landing soft. Thanks, Congressman. Appreciate it. I wanted to give Congressman Dunn an opportunity to say a couple words because we have had the opportunity to work with him uh, as our uh, representative in Congress, and he has been very successful bringing down millions of dollars for this airport itself. And uh, we certainly do appreciate that, Congressman. Thank you so much. A couple other good friends that are standing behind me. Corey Simon, Senator Simon, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. We love your support. Representative Gallup Franklin, thank you so much for coming out and supporting us as well. Um, of course, I've got the Mayor Pro Tem, Curtis Richardson, that's with me. 
Diane Williams Cox, DWC herself. I enjoy working with you both each and every day. So, Rob, welcome to Tallahassee. I told you at 5.45 this morning we're gonna have a party in Tallahassee when we landed, and here we are. Um, I had formal remarks, but I'm just gonna say this. It has been an absolutely incredible day. So I started my morning with the Dream Team, and I'm gonna turn it up to the city manager in just a second at the Fort Lauderdale Airport. You should see the excitement down in South Florida for this direct flight to Tallahassee. Um, we had a handful of your colleagues from the legislature that came out. They weren't even on the flight. They just came out. They were so excited about this direct flight on JetBlue. The college students that can afford to fly back and forth that were on the flight as well. There was a lot of excitement. And the synergy between Fort Lauderdale, Tallahassee, with the Nexus being JetBlue is absolutely phenomenal. And like the congressman said, welcome home. Uh, we are going to be the best partner that you have ever seen. And we look forward to expanding our flights with JetBlue all over the world, here in Tallahassee as well. But with that, I wanted to uh, close by letting you know that I, I hope I did you a good service, because I was touting our city this morning. We kicked off the bicentennial on here, New Year's here. Eve. And I invited everybody in South Florida to come visit us, come celebrate with us, Come celebrate what an incredible community, where we've been, where we are, and where we're going. This is going to be a great year, and what a great event to really kick off our bicentennial than to welcome JetBlue home. With that, I want to turn it over. And Well, first of all, let me recognize David Pollard and the team out here at the airport. You know, many of you might not know, but our airport was actually named the best municipal airport in the state of Florida a couple years ago. David Pollard has been recognized nationally as one of the best municipal airport executive directors in the United States. I mean, we've got an incredible team and we've got an incredible facility, but to be able to bring in new carriers, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication. And David, my hat's off to you and your team for a fine job. But it also, it also starts at the very top. And you know that I am uh, uh, very bullish on the city manager. I think he does an absolutely amazing job. We are nationally recognized for so many things, and our airport is one. So I want to call up Reese Goat, the city manager, for a couple of comments. Reese has literally been working on this project for years, and today is a day of celebration. And, you know, flying in with you and being able to talk about, hey, here we are. Here we are. Just been amazing. Congratulations, Reese. This is great. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I, I echo so many of your comments and, and what a great day what a great way to start the new year I mean this is fantastic so the mayor mentioned it was our bicentennial by the way they know that in Fort Lauderdale now so that's good <laughs> they know yeah. Rob he mentioned it we love it JetBlue knows by the way we've been here 200 years and what a great year 2024 is going to be uh, we're so very pleased to have JetBlue in Tallahassee we know that our airport is an economic engine, and we talk about it from different perspectives. We talk about it, can we get where we want to go? What are the airfares? Can we bring cargo in? Can we, can we build trade with, with our airport? And, and the answer is yes to all of those things. For some of you that may not have been to the airport recently, it looks great, doesn't it? It looks fantastic. And we just have so much more to go. We see the road networks coming. Uh, into fruition. We see our customs facility uh, being built that will be done this year. And now we have JetBlue, one of the leading carriers in the United States that is here to serve our community and connect us to Fort Lauderdale. And by the way, that was a great flight. That was a whole bunch better than the drive, I will tell you that. <laughs> that, that, was, that was worth it. And so we're, we're just so excited uh, to be here. But um, these things don't happen without good leadership. I want to uh, thank the mayor. I want to thank Commissioner Williams Cox. I want to thank Mayor Pro Tem uh, Curtis Richardson. They've been very, very clear on the strategy with the airport. And if you don't know, we've got a five year strategic plan. We're in the last of those five years. And in that plan, it says that our airport will be a billion dollar contributor to our economy. That's significant. You know, we're around the 16 or 17 billion dollar economy. So when you have a single tool that can be that big, uh, it's material and we've just eclipsed 850 million dollars and so now the sky's the limit with JetBlue coming to town. We want to have a million passengers. That's going to be easy. We'll do that this year without any problem. But all of these things, the goals that we set, the vision 
that's cast by our mayor and commissioners is important. But I don't think you can underscore enough the work that it takes. Uh, David Pollard, our director of aviation, was recognized. I'd like to also recognize Vanessa Spaulding. Uh, she's in charge of air service development and the entire team from our airport, the work that they do, because these efforts are years in the making and it's about a vision, it's about being professional, and it's really about relationships. And so, so pleased, uh, Rob, with the relationship with JetBlue, all the help that we, we get from our uh, local and uh, national representatives, and it's just a great day. So let me thank uh, David. David, I want to thank you for your work and for all the effort. I know how much, it, and David will tell you, by the way, if you let him, he'll tell you how much work goes into it. <laughs> And, and I love it. I love the passion, and we should all be proud to have people like this in our community. And David, let me thank you and welcome you to the podium for some remarks. All right. Thank you, City Manager Goat. I appreciate that kind words. I certainly want to start off by recognizing our airport staff. Uh, if you're a staff member, please raise your hand. Uh, it, it takes a lot of hard work to run an airport. And I couldn't be more pleased or excited uh, for our team and the team that we have providing top quality service for each and every one of you day in and day out. This is an exciting time for Tallahassee International Airport. We're thrilled to welcome new air service to our community thanks to JetBlue and look forward to a long and successful relationship. Having traveled aboard this morning's first flight from Fort Lauderdale, I can tell you firsthand that their addition to TLH is in line with our focus on providing fast, friendly, and convenient service. We happen to ride in this morning on Bahama Blue. Did, did you know that JetBlue names their aircraft? Yeah. Yes. It's exciting. I like to look at the names of their aircraft and, and, and all. They got some very creative names to their aircraft. It's fun to, to watch and learn about yeah. the, the names of their aircraft. Yeah. Our airport is bustling with activity and there are major construction projects happening all around us. Work is underway just beyond these walls in back of us, uh, the pass International Passenger uh, Processing Facility. It's a $28 million investment in our community and, and where we're headed from here. It'll further drive regional growth. Uh, we're moving towards establishment of a foreign trade zone here. Uh, we're talking about potentially 100 miles out in each direction, uh, encompassing up to 11 county-wide foreign trade zone. Uh, so uh, our strategic goals that Reese mentioned, uh, we're focused on those goals and we're moving those goals forward every day. Each effort is part of our larger picture to ensure TLH meets the needs of our growing community and economy while providing exceptional service. And each effort is made possible thanks to the vision set by the mayor, city commissioners, and the leadership provided by city manager Reese Goad. I couldn't do it without the leadership and the support that we have from our commissioners, our city leadership, and I just want to say thank you uh, for all the support that we get day in and day out. I'm proud to be here today as we celebrate together. I'd now like to welcome to both Tallahassee and to the podium, Robert Land, Head of Government Affairs and Associate General Counsel at JetBlue. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, Tallahassee. Good morning. Good morning. We are so excited to be here. Before I get started uh, thanking everybody, and I really want to, um, we have five values at JetBlue. Uh, first, of course, is safety. But safety, caring, integrity, integrity passion, and fun. My favorite is fun. Um, and I want to ask, we had a Captain uh, Wayne flew us down up here this morning. But is Wayne, is the crew here? They all went back? <laughs> Our lead flight attendant, Denise, did she go back? Because today is Denise's birthday. Yes, yes, yes. And we sang happy birthday to her on the plane. I was going to do it in Tallahassee, but I guess we'll take a rain check to next year. Maybe when we're celebrating a new route. Um, Very briefly, I, I just want to say we did have a great flight up. We talked in Fort Lauderdale about the Tallahassee Bicentennial. Uh, I think the, the phrase that the, the, the ceremony is using is ambitious from the beginning. Yes. Take a look around, folks. JetBlue is here. This is ambitious from the beginning. Yes. So we are really, really excited to partner with you. Uh, senators, representatives, uh, commissioners, congressmen, 
Jordan Zimmerman, who leads our uh, marketing here in Florida. Uh, everybody, we, we couldn't be happier with this turnout. These people have all worked tirelessly for you to bring us here. And this is only going to work if it's a partnership. Uh, if you go online today, we're having a sale, $49. A pretty good deal. You can't take a taxi across town for $49. We'll get you to the beaches of South Florida, or even better, like I'm doing this afternoon, my colleague Emily is doing. We go to 40 different places with 150 flights a day from Fort Lauderdale, South America, Central America, the West Coast, the entire Caribbean, the Northeast. It's a great place to connect if you don't want to stay. So take the flights. If you like it, tell your friends. If you don't like it, just send me a note. We'll fix it. <laughs> but we got to get people coming out so we can grow the service. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty simple. We'll yep. be here if you're here for us. That's right. So with that, uh, again, can't thank everybody enough for the support. I uh, really appreciate coming out. And if it's OK with you, we're going to make this official, and we're going to cut a ribbon. Kick it off. Absolutely. All right. While we're getting set up and before we move the podium, I, there's one group that we have to recognize. Uh, I am a proud graduate of Raw Middle School. Uh, my boys go to Raw Middle School. Both of them were in the steel pan program. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard the Raw Middle School steel pan perform when we were playing over there. William Sahili, you're amazing. Thank you. And to all of the performers, you do realize, folks, this is the only middle school steel pan program in the state of Florida. And it's right here at Raw Middle School. I believe Dr. Scott, the principal's here as well. Anyway, thank you all so much. You sounded great.